Persistent pain is a condition that most attribute to the elderly. But did you know that as many as 38% of youth in North America are living with this condition as well? This potentially lifelong condition can be so severe that some children are unable to go to school, play with their friends, or even watch their favorite movie. To manage pain levels, most professionals recommend non-pharmacological treatments. In other words, treatments that do not include the use of drugs. Instead, these treatments utilize the collaboration between healthcare professionals such as physical and occupational therapists, family doctors, and many more. This is the preferred and safest approach to treatment as it avoids harmful side effects or dependency issues. However, the challenge is that as many as 29% of youth with persistent pain also have a mental health disorder, and non-pharmacological treatments may not be as effective for them. As such, we are conducting a systematic review to answer the question, how effective are non-pharmacological treatments for youth with persistent pain and a comorbid mental health disorder? We created an extensive search strategy with over 100 terms. We then applied those terms to four medical databases to identify peer-reviewed randomized control trials. Our search yielded 9,620 results, and we are currently critically examining the title and abstract of each. To obtain our results, we will extract information on patient outcomes such as pain intensity or quality of life. For our next steps, a formal review of our findings will be disseminated to clinicians at Holland Blurby's national leading program in pediatric persistent pain management, Get Up and Go. We will then use their insights to devise a plan to transfer our findings to the general public. This project falls in line with Holland Blurby's mission for innovation and excellence as it aims to identify areas of improvement for current treatments. In doing so, this project will promote equitable health care to ensure that youth with persistent pain and mental health disorders are receiving the best possible care. Most importantly, the relationship between persistent pain and mental health is important to emphasize, as since they are not physically visible, many individuals have difficulty understanding their impact. For more information or to learn more, come visit my poster, scan its QR code, or click its link for an accessible information sheet. Thank you.